Yo guys, what is up? This is Scummers. Come back to your game with another Disco.py episode. Today is going to be nice and short and sharp, and we're just going to be covering the, covering the new reply uh, method, which is a shortcut on message, which shortcuts are sent, and lets you reply, which is something new Discord's added, and Discord.py has it new in version 1.6. And to show you what it is, so let's go pi.eval, return, zero, and then it returns that, and you can just click this reply button here, and go, uh, nice output, bud. <laughs> and that's a reply, and it takes you to the message, and tags them or not. We're going to show you how to do that in discord.py. Uh, the documentation's here, it's quite simple. You can go ahead, read it if you want, and in terms of turning on and off the tags, you just want to go to meshable messageable.send and then you can do allowed mentions so you can just tell it that you don't want to mention them so it'll just tag them but it won't type of thing or if you just ignore it it'll tag them but I'll show you that now let's just go ahead let's jump into our code I'm going to show you how to do it with message I'm going to show you how to do it with ctx it's it's quite simple um but anyway let's just go ahead and go if let's just do a greeting uh if hello is in message.content and we're just going to call dot lower on that because our string hello is lowercase we're going to go await message normally you do dot send here we're going to go dot reply and it pretty much takes the same arguments as send and um, so we can just go make this an f string hey message dot author dot mention how are you doing today Let's go ahead, let's run the bot, make sure I've got this right. Otherwise, that's going to be kind of awkward. Let's go ahead, let's go. Let's just type hello. And it tags me. Look at that. Boom, bat, done. <laughs> hello, at God of the 421. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. And because we've also got Lara on that, we can go hello really angrily, and it'll still respond to us. Right, that, that's enough of that. It's not quite hello, it's more like good night, considering it is late at night for me. Anyway, uh, let's show you how to use this with CTX as well, just in our eval command. Uh, because, well, it's a command and it's right there. Anyway, we're just going to go await CTX dot set, no, 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 dot reply. Let's me evaluate, oh, I can't spell, don't worry, PyCharm's got a built in. Um, dictionary checker, word checker. Let me evaluate this code for you. One, B, I set. Let's go ahead, let's start the bot. Hopefully, this works as well. Otherwise, I'm going to be looking quite awkward. Let's go ahead, and let's get to go eval. And that's not going to work because it is a required argument. So let's go ahead, let's go eval. Uh, what are we going to eval? Return one. Let me evaluate this code for you. It won't be a sec. And then look at that, it starts a page in session. Now you might be wondering, how come I haven't made the eval so it responds? But if you want to go ahead and do that with your code, it will be quite nice, I will admit it. But you're just going to have to modify pager.start. So there is a bit of code there. I'm not going to do it in this episode, I'm just showing you what replies and how it works. But you can just go ahead and modify that code there. And rather than using dot send, you can call dot reply. Um, I might show you how to do that if you enough of you guys ask in the comments. I'll put up a link to how you can do that. But for now, that's been uh, the episode for today. Showing you how to use a reply function in under five minutes. Looking at about four minutes now. Anyway, hope you guys had a good time. Enjoy the new feature and I'll see you in the next one.